Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva on the occasion of GSR 2018, the Global Symposium for Regulators, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Joe Anoche, who is the uh, Director General of the National Communications Authority of Ghana. Mr. Anoche, thank you very much indeed for joining us in the studio. Thank you, Max, for having me. It's a pleasure being here. Now, I'd like to just, uh, I know this is your, your first GSR. Perhaps you could give us a, a few of your, uh, your, your first impressions of, uh, of this uh, particular event. It's been fun. It's been fun and very, very educative. It's, it's good to, to meet your, your colleague uh, uh, from, from other, other, other countries. Um, we're, we, we're doing great. I'm learning a lot. Uh, I thought I knew more before I came here, but now I know I'm, 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 I keep on learning. Now, there's been a lot of uh, talk about uh, AI and IoT. Why is this global dialogue important, do you think? I think it's important because you're dealing with two of the most uh, destructive uh, technologies out there. AI and, and IoT is, is changing. And I think it's important because of the, the known unknowns and unknowns of unknowns. Uh, we, we don't know where they're going to take us. And I had hoped that um, you know, in the early 80s and the 90s, when computer technology was picking steam, we have had this opportunity to, to think through it, uh, think through what uh, cybersecurity was going to do. So I, I think this is, this is, this is great. Um, it's great for us as regulators to, to, to see um, if, if it's anything that could be done. And, and, you know, based on what I have actually heard since I've, I've been here Monday, it seems like we, we really need to let this technology take shape. Uh, it's, it's too early to attempt to, to, to regulate. Uh, so, so the more we dialogue, the more we, are, we, we, are, we get more positioned. Uh, vendors will also become aware of the fact that they need to get their systems hardened. Um, so certainly, I, I, I believe in, in the end, it is going to be good for, for the industry. It is going to be good for um, humanity. If, if you think about it, we, we are told that uh, by the end of 2020, there will be an upward of, what, 20 billion uh, IoT connected devices. Most of them are AI enabled. So that certainly it's, 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 it's a concern that we need to understand what it is we're getting ourselves into. Now you're participating in a panel session this afternoon. Perhaps you could give us a little uh, brief insight into what you're going to be talking about. So this, this uh, afternoon session is about digital identities and, and how they, uh, what effect they have in, in all the digital ecosystems out, out there. There's, there's a lot of uh, di digitization going on in, in several countries. And, and the question is, you know, most of these di digitization have different digital I uh, identities. Um, how do you get them synchronized? Uh, how do you also get them the data that is, that, that, that is acquired from all these digital services? How, how do you provide privacy for, for them? So it's more about uh, ensuring that uh, uh, these digital data services are securely um, handled uh, for, for, for enterprise and, and for countries. Yeah. Talking about secure handling, what about the relationship between AI, the Internet of Things, and cybersecurity? Perhaps you could t t t talk to us a little bit about that. Thank you, uh, Max. So, uh, well, let's begin with, with IoT, in Internet of, of Things. Um, this is one of the technologies that have come to change the way business is run. You know, ma many years ago, Max, um, you know, when we talk about devices connected to the internet, it will be a, a router, it will be a switch, it will be a laptop, a computer, maybe your, your phone. But today, uh, we have things. And a thing things could be a fridge, a thing could be a car, a thing could be, you know, a anything you can, you can think of. Um, but, uh, and, and that has helped a lot. It has changed uh, a lot of business models. It, it has made uh, businesses become more uh, efficient uh, in, in terms of their operations and, and even customer service. Uh, but businesses have come to, to realize that to get a full potential of internal of things, you also need uh, some integration of these advanced AI technologies. Because uh, uh, an IoT that is enabled with AI becomes a smart machine. 
right? Smart machine meaning thinking, doing things that typically a human being could could do, it, but on 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 a very fast and and, and rare time basis. So that makes um, IoT very, very powerful. So if you don't, if you are not able to integrate um, AI with, with IoT, you know, you, you just get static data, right? You are not able to process the data that is coming into, to, to you. The challenge is um, AI also has, you know, the other side and the negatives. It's the same thing with, with IoT. Um, I, I, uh, I think earlier this year, um, Interpol reported that all IoT devices are prone to cyber attacks. You know, so we talk about 20 billion uh, IoT devices. So these are more now becomes um, attack vectors. So um, it is important that um, we understand how cyber-wise we're going to make uh, a cyber. We're going to make IoT that's enabled with with AI more hardened. Um, and a good chunk of it begin with having an intelligent network, right? Because, you, you know, IoT devices are not in isolation. An IoT device is connected to a network. Uh, the same way a router is connected to a network, the same way a computer is connected to a network, the same way a switch. Uh, so if you begin by making uh, the network intelligent, uh, uh, more hardened, uh, if you begin to making sure that you know um, you have visibility end to end visibility it it will certainly make um, IOT um, much more powerful um, if you can't do that and and you know you 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 allow uh, the attacker to make um, a fridge for example a fridge that has uh, that has IOT that has AI on and is tend to be a botnet I mean it tend to be an attacking vector right that, that can become a challenge and, and that's why you have all these um, dialogue ongoing um, um, we, we need to ensure that as we more and more devices become IOT enabled they become AI IOT enabled as well we want to make sure that you know, the good doesn't turn into in, in, into bad. And and again, I go back to say, if we had had this dialogue in the 80s, in, 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 the, in the 90s, uh, I'm sure that we will have been much more prepared uh, for the, um, the cyber attacks that, you know, years later have, have come up. Very wise words. Well, thank you very much for joining us in the studio today. Uh, Joe Anoche, thank you very much indeed. And we look forward to catching up with you again sometime in the future. Thank you, Max, for giving me this opportunity. I appreciate it. And do uh, look at our other uh, videos on the ITU YouTube channel and listen to our podcasts on the SoundCloud channel. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.